uh, surprise Easter Sunday pickup, which I did not expect. Uh, I wasn't even supposed to be out. We said, you know what, we didn't have any dessert, so we said, oh, let's go out uh, to get some dessert and um, maybe a chocolate bunny or something like that. And uh, so we did. And we're driving along, and there was a sale, which is weird on Easter. Uh, and I had some games. And I, I spent $55, and this is what I got. Here we go. Um, I got a Mist, Sega Saturn. I didn't even check the back of the disc. And nothing was expensive. And, um, I, mean, I mean, I knew the case wasn't pristine or anything like that. Let me just take a quick look and see what it looks like. I really only got three disc names, and they're all the long box. Jesus, look at this. Look at that. That's wind. Wind is my enemy. <clears throat> at flea markets. Wind and rain. And uh, too much sun. And <laughs> pretty much all the elements, except for fair weather perfect days. Uh, mess me up. I don't like it when it's cold. <laughs> uh, weather in general. You know, I wish I lived, or I wish it was uh, always sunny in New Jersey. Like that TV show. Anyway, Tekken. Uh, this was marked 25, but I didn't pay 25 for it. I don't think, I don't think it's worth 25. The case has a crack in the front. Um, I don't know if which of any of these would be the more, most valuable game. But the guy was like, I was like, well, how much are the games? And I started, like, taking this, and he said, well, just give me this much for all. And I was like, uh, okay, this case is in the best condition. But I don't know if this is the most valuable game. Uh, Sonic 3D Blast. Oh, wait, this is Sega Saturn. Hmm. Okay, this is weird. Let me just... Oh, yeah, Sega Saturn. Okay, this is probably the most valuable game out of the three. Yeah, I thought this might be... Disney's Tailspin, reasonable condition. I don't remember. I think that's like a $15 game. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, maybe with the movie there's some, some excitement about this game. But probably not. I'll arrange them into piles of what I got. Uh, F-Zero. I don't know. This is probably like an $8 game. Yeah, I don't even know. I haven't had F-Zero in a while. You know, if I look it up, if this is like a $15 game, I'm just putting it online. Uh, Star Trek. Starfleet Academy. I haven't had this game in forever. If this is like a $15 game, I'll put it online, but it's probably more like a $8 or $10 game. Um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now I have the set. <laughs> uh, in different consoles. I don't know. I don't know what it's worth. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not... I don't constantly... Uh, Gradius, this can't be too valuable. Gradius 3. It's probably ten dollars, fifteen at most. Um, I don't constantly check prices and memorize prices. I just go with general feeling what things should be worth. Um, WWF Royal Rumble and usually wrestling games aren't worth that much, so it shouldn't be worth too much. Popeye Arcade Classics. I'm pretty sure this is like a ten dollar game. Uh, yeah, I got a bunch of turtles. Uh, Teenage Mint uh, Minton. Teenage Minton Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Sometimes I think when I speak I'm dyslexic. I don't really know. Um, back label a little screwed up. I think this is like 10 to 15 or somewhere in that range. Then I have another copy, same game, with a better back label. So that should be worth around the same. Uh, Animaniacs, this is probably an $8 to $12 game at most. Um, Turtles 2, the arcade game. One of these is worth a little bit more than the other. Uh, Back to the Future 2 and 3. I wonder if they had a 1. I don't think it's worth that much. And winding down, two more Sega games. Simpsons Bart's Nightmare. I played this game. I don't really like it too much. It wasn't a bad game. It just wasn't my kind of game. Maybe this is 15. I don't know. You know, sometimes I just have to like ballpark in my head. And I know this is probably like 12. Uh, Sonic Knuckles. That's everything. That's all I got. Um, I should take a flyer <laughs> and show it at the end of every video for the con, but I'm going to see if I can figure out how to put uh, links to the con page. We're going to have that Collecticon. That's coming up in October, so I'm just going to talk about it all the time. Um, 
we're gonna have some celebrity YouTubers um, show, and I have I haven't had it's not signed on paper yet, so I'm just not gonna say who's who, who it's gonna be, but we will, and we're gonna have free gameplay, and we're gonna have like uh, uh, panel discussion boards, all kinds of cool stuff uh, that's coming up, and I think in this time when I'm talking about it, I think I'm gonna try and put a link if I can figure out how to do that. A link uh, in this time that I'm just blathering where you could press the button and it'll take you to the Facebook page. And if you could, please like that page, you know, or uh, or uh, uh, check if you're interested or coming or whatever. I don't know if the fa Facebook page is done. Um, it might be like a work in progress. But anyway, uh, happy Easter. Uh, bunny ears. Peace out, I guess. Right. And uh, if I find anything, I'll post another video.